Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my second video in a, a short series of tutorials on the basics of how to call Fortran functions from C. In this video, I'm going to be giving an example of calling a Fortran function that actually takes in numbers and returns something. So let's jump right in. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just look at this Fortran function real quick just to see what it does. Uh, it's going to take in two values, this base and this exponent. And it's going to raise that base to the exponent power and uh, return this y here. Okay. So basically, you know, it's going to take in two numbers and return one. And if you put in, you know, two and eight, it's just going to raise two to the eighth power and return that back. So before calling this function from C, there's a couple uh, small details I need to go over. Uh, the first one is that uh, obviously C and Fortran don't have the same names for their data types. So uh, we need to know which data types are going in the Fortran function and coming out and what those correspond to in C. So, for example, in this Fortran function, uh, these two input variables are 8-byte reals, and the output variable is an 8-byte real. So that means that uh, when we declare the C function, uh, we have to use doubles. And then the other point that's important is that and Fortran variables are always passed by reference, so uh, we need to write the function declaration in C to uh, using pointers. And then when we call the function, make sure to pass the numbers by reference. So I'll go, I'll show uh, that in a second here. All right, so let's go back to this function here. It's called fpow. So first, let's write the function declaration. It's going to return a double. And again, like I mentioned in the last video, the convention is uh, just a lowercase the Fortran function name and add an underscore. Okay, take two values. Oops, I mixed them up. Let me fix that. Okay. Okay, so like I mentioned a minute ago, uh, we have to use pointers in the function declaration, uh, just for the input variables, not for the return. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and uh, make up some numbers and go ahead and call this function and just see if it works. So I'm pick a base of two, uh, an exponent of eight, and go ahead and call my function. So what I'm doing is raising two to the eighth power, right? And since those are pointers uh, in the function declaration here, I need to pass these values by reference. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so that should work correctly. Last thing I want to do is go ahead and print the result. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and compile it now. Just like last time, we have a Fortran source and a C source. Now we're gonna compile them separately and then combine them together. So I'm gonna compile the Fortran first. Then I'm gonna compile the C. All right, so at this point I have these two object files. And now I'm going to combine those two into the program. And I'm going to use gfortran for that. Now I'll just call the program pow. All right, let's go ahead and run it. And you can see it seems to be working properly. Uh, raised two to the eighth power and got 256 back. Uh, so if there's any other functions in Fortran that you have, um, you pretty much just kind of follow those those two rules, uh, and they mostly should work. Um, the other thing that I just might mention real quick is that Fortran has some data types that C doesn't, like 
Uh, Fortran has a complex data type, uh, you know, for like imaginary numbers. Um, and there's even corresponding C data types for that. Um, I mean, C doesn't have a complex data type, but uh, like you can build a you can build a struct that has, you know, a real and an imaginary part, and uh, pass that to a Fortran function, and it'll accept it. So uh, just you know, Google look on Google if you have, you know, some other data types in your functions. But those are the basics. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.